We are following a developing story today with immediate implications for families locally and potentially across the country as well. Today, a federal appeals court ruled in favor of the Fairfax County School Board upholding the constitutionality of the new admissions process at Thomas Jefferson High School. Yet yeah, this new policy was meant to increase diversity at the school, but parents sued the school board and claimed the changes were discriminatory to Asian Americans. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder is live tonight outside the school. So Drew, break this down for us and explain what it means for families. Yeah, so there's a lot of legalese here, Sean, but bottom line, it means that the revised admissions policy can stay. And that has a big impact here at TJ, which is widely considered to be one of the best high schools in the entire country. Admissions here are merit based, and it is very difficult to get into this school. And going back decades, black and Hispanic students have been underrepresented. Take 2019, for example. Asian American students made up more than 70% of the student body, while white students made up about 20%. The school board made changes to the admissions process back in 2020. 20, and that shifted those numbers and brought both fierce backlash and lawsuits. After those changes, Asian American student admission dropped about 20 percent. And while Asian American students still made up more than half of the student body, it called into question whether race can be factored into admissions. And it's been a legal battle ever since. Last year, a federal judge ruling against the new policy, calling it impermissible racial balancing. But that decision was overturned today in a split two to one ruling by a federal appeals court. The two judges in favor of the school board were appointed by Presidents Clinton and Biden. The dissenting judge was appointed by President Trump. In his majority opinion, Judge Robert King wrote Asian American students as a class experience no material disadvantage under the policy's functioning. In fact, they do better in securing admission to TJ than students from any other racial or ethnic group. Though in her dissenting opinion, Judge Allison Rushing said, if a state enacts a policy with the purpose and effect of trimming down the success of one particular racial group to a level the state finds more appropriate, it has discriminated against that racial group. Now, the people at the heart of all this who filed the initial lawsuit is a group called Coalition for TJ. One of the founding members of that group, Azra Nomani, tweeted out a response to this ruling today saying, quote, See you in the U.S. Supreme Court, hmm. guys. Well, uh, Drew, speaking of the Supreme Court, we know that you're aware that the court's already considering a case that's similar in some ways to this one, a lawsuit against Harvard and the University of North Carolina that claims that uh, factoring race into admissions is unconstitutional. You see any overlap in between that case and this case at TJ? Yeah, I mean, it's an important question. Look, I, I'm no lawyer, but there are some very obvious overlaps here because the plaintiffs in both of those cases argue at least one similar point. They say that bringing race into an admissions policy is a violation of the 14th Amendment, though in his majority opinion today, Judge King seemed to speak directly to the Supreme Court. He actually went as far as to cite a couple of the current conservative-leaning justices on the Supreme Court, pulling old opinions that they wrote and quoting those in saying that if the federal government or state or local government enacts a policy to try to balance out racial equity for a government program, that it's not a violation of the 14th Amendment, and it is, in fact, constitutional. Though it might be soon if we see uh, whether or not those conservative justices on the Supreme Court still feel that way about this particular case, but because we are expecting a ruling on that UNC and Harvard case really any time this summer, you guys. There'll be a lot of implications from that, and certainly a lot of people will be watching to see the outcome there. No doubt. Thank, Thank you, you, Drew. Thank you, Drew Wilder, reporting live.